ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this, and a few things before we start. If my underarms look wet, it's not because I'm sweating or I smell, it's because I put so much deodorant on that it didn't uh, evaporate, and it's wet. So, thank you, Rexona for men, you have failed the test. I mean, look, it's fucking on and fucking on. Anyway, that's not the point. Um, and another thing, if the, sh if the lighting is shitty, I apologise, re I'm recording this at night. My house, if you've ever been to it, is, di is disgusting for lights, it's horrible. Um, and I refuse to buy them fucking stupid energy saving bullshit. I pay the, well mum pays the fucking bills, I can use what fucking lights I want to. So, pfft. Uh, fucking government. Um, but there's a few things I want to talk about. First, to get your mind, there is something in this folder that I'm not allowed to show you, but one day, I promise, we will get to what is in this folder. There's something in there. Let me just give you a paper. Uh, you can have a guess. It fucking won't go back in the fucking thing. Guess what that is? No, you, uh, so what I want to, do, what I want to really talk about in this video is this game here. Now, quickly, I bought this from Game.com.au two days ago uh, because I thought that if I went in today, uh, there was two things. It was supposed to be released on the 20th, which is tomorrow, and I'll be in Sydney all tomorrow playing um, Alice Returns and something of the damned up in Sydney with EA. So I thought, I can't risk that, so I thought I'll buy it and see if it comes when it was supposed to. Now, they say that they ship a pre-order 48 hours, or one to two days before release. So, even if it was still the 20th, I would have got this game a day early, but they changed it probably overnight or something to the 19th, like they did with Red Dead Redemption. So if anyone out there wants to pre-order a game and save 20 bucks or 30 bucks or 40 bucks while doing it, game.com.au, unless you're like Western Australia, South Australia, Northern Territory, you can probably expect it in one to two days. I'm lucky the centre is like an hour up there in that general direction. So it came at nine. It came at like nine o'clock in the morning, and I've been playing it for most of the day. It's got three discs in it. For those of you who don't know, or lucky enough to have the PlayStation version, there's the third disc here. The thing that pisses me off about this, I don't care that it's got three discs, but what the fuck is wrong with? Um, wait a minute. I probably should have. Where's a DVD really quickly? All right, this is a three disc set. I don't necessarily like Family Guy anymore, but fuck it. Well, look, look what they do. There's one disc here. And it goes like that. I don't fucking understand why it goes like that. It's just something that really pisses me off. I don't know why, it's just small things that piss me off. But I want to talk in this video about why you shouldn't buy L.A. Noir. Now, this goes for the same reason why people shouldn't buy Heavy Rain. This is the reason why people shouldn't buy... Mm, this... Uh, 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 thing of thousands of other games I can attribute to this because it's not what you think it is. Now when I say that it's not Grand Theft Auto, don't expect it and this is the problem because when people, and I'm guaranteed that this will happen with this game casual gamers, which I have if you're a casual gamer, you're a casual gamer I don't care, but casual gamers probably won't like this game because it's so story driven it's so um, it's slow, it's not fast, and it's just, it's a story game. So if you don't like a story game, don't pick this up. Because you won't enjoy it, and you will go on the internet, and you will troll and troll and troll and troll until I get pissed off enough to yell at you. So, so you know, people did this with Heavy Rain. They went in there expecting this game, and it was an interactive drama, which, is, which was enjoyable to me, and they shit on it because it wasn't the game. Mafia 2 can be another one that was supposed to be this really open world game. This is open world a little bit more, probably about this much more than Mafia 2. It's linear in an open world setting. But it does it well. But it's still, if you're looking for an open world game, don't bother. Don't bother, because if you're looking for a story and a, and a different, you know, genre of gaming, this is the game, because this game thus far is amazing. It is brilliant. I mean, the characters... I mean, you've seen the trailers, but Jesus Christ, it's simply brilliant. Um, I, I have a... F uh, there's one little tiny thing that pisses me off, is they haven't got the GPS thing. You know how in games like Saints Row, Grand Theft Auto, Red Dead Redemption, the waypoint, like where you wanted to go, had its trail, like a GPS? 
I understand why they didn't do that because it wouldn't be fitting in 1940 whenever this is set. I can't remember. 1940s. Fair enough. But you can hold the, down the X button or square on PlayStation if they attribute to each other. Uh, that will... Because you're always with someone. You're never alone. You're always with a partner and whatever. And if you hold X, he'll say, turn left here, turn right next, keep going straight. And that's all well and good, but he repeats and repeats and repeats and repeats and repeats. And sometimes you can't get him to do it because you're having in-game dialogue. So you can't get him to say it. And you can just... That's something that was really small that has pissed me off. But I'm up to the second desk now, which is Homicide. Just started the one with the car. Now, I finished the one with the prop guy. I hope I didn't spoil that one. But you know what I mean. So if you're looking for a story game that's generally, that's generally different from most things, this is the one because it's fun as fuck, and it was made, well, parts of it, probably a majority of it, was made in Australia, in Sydney, by Team Bondi, not Bondi, fucking IGN got that wrong. IGN, probably the, no, the biggest gaming news website on the planet, said Bondi. Fuck you, IGN, you ignorant fucking poofters. I don't say fucking, what's, a, what's an American city you could misconstrue for something else? You couldn't even misconstrue that. Bondi, it's not fucking hard. I don't fucking know. So that's my video. I'll be in Sydney tomorrow playing Alice Returns or something. I can't fucking remember. It's too tired for this shit. So that's my video. If Again, L.A. Noir is brilliant. So go and pick it up. If you enjoy story and a generally different game, but if you want Grand Theft Auto set in the 1940s, you're not going to get it. So that's my that's my video. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out. Have a good one. I'm not going to do my thing because I'm. You'll think that I smell. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out. Have a good one. Rate, comment, subscribe. Au revoir.